Hey YouTube, how we doing today? All right, we got another weird one for you in our beard care line. So all I can say is stay tuned after we roll that intro, because this one's definitely strange. So here we go. All right, guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, those of you who saw the thumbnail, saw the title, you already know what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at Bearded Oregon Corvallis Beard Oil. I got to tell you, honestly, I found these guys totally, 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 totally by mistake. All right? Well, I should say by accident. Not mistake, by accident. I've got a Facebook friend by the name of John Stock who shared their company thing and went, hey, they're so close to this, go check them out. So I went, oh, okay, something based out of Oregon? That's kind of cool. I used to live down there for like 20 freaking years, and, you know, why not? Supporting the local economy, supporting local hometown, let's do this. So I took a look, and I went, okay, I've got to bring one of their seasonal items to the channel. I know you guys are going to ridicule me for this, but I seriously don't care. All right, there's the bottle. You know, nothing huge, nothing fancy. All right. There's that part. And sorry, I'm trying to do this on the fly here. And there's the other wonderful stuff. Yeah, so this scent is pumpkin spice latte. I'll pause for your laughter. Okay, you're done. <laughs> I figured why not? Let's try something seasonal. Let's try something a little different. And I like coffee flavored scents in my beard. Some of you may remember I brought one from Whiskey Ink, Whiskey Ink and Lace to the channel gonna leave a link up there for you know the beard care stuff that we brought so you can go check that out if you want to and then come on back now what I like is I believe they've moved but it says on the website they're based in Salem Oregon I'll be honest with you I emailed um, Aaron their owner after I ordered and I asked about the company and asked about some stuff and he was really really cool about getting back to me on stuff you know he was very flattered that I reached out to him and he was very forthcoming about information okay um, it's got a medium scent strength, so, you know, when you first rub it in, I'll be honest, the first couple times I tried it, I didn't smell the pumpkin. I just, I didn't. All I smelled was the latte smell. And then I'm starting to pick up on it a little more, but what I recommend is you seriously give your oil a massive shake before you put it on. Okay? It's really simple, you know, and this is something else I really liked with them. Basically, you know, you give your dropper a little squeeze. Not wasting any of it, you know, you dump it in your hand, rub it together, and start rubbing it in. Like I've said in other videos, beard oil is not necessarily for the beard, but it's for your skin under. When you start producing a long beard, your body has a problem producing the oils that the hair needs to be natural and healthy and all that wonderful stuff. So beard oil helps get that into your system and get it moving, get it going. Not to mention, it gives you a great scent in your beard. And let's get honest. All right, seriously, let's get honest. We don't wear this for us. We're wearing that for the person you're with. So if your better half is in, you know, pumpkin spice lattes, <laughs> there you go. There's a good idea. Have her curl up and go. Damn, you smell good. Now, what I like is they said this has like almond oil, pumpkin seed oil, and I'll touch on this in a second. They use local coffee grounds, and as they put it, other secret blend of spices. This is what I love. Every one of their beard products is named after a town in Oregon, all right? What they're going to name that town after, or what that product after, they source items from that town. Now, granted, if you've been to Portland, you probably had the same reaction that I did. I'm like, I don't want hippie stench in my beard oil. You know, I don't want liberal tears in a beard oil. If you've been to Portland, you know what I'm talking about. But, you know. I think that was cool that I'm hoping they just weren't like using Starbucks, but maybe something out of Oregon to put in here. But, you know, just me. From my understanding, this company began in about 2014 as an Instagram group. And they have this great slogan that I like. Keep it local, keep it bearded. Which made me giggle because in the box, they sent a sticker. Which made me laugh because that looks an awful lot like an ex-roommate of mine. And, you know, that's their business card. 
if you contact them, make sure you say you saw it here on the channel, okay? At least that way they know that the word's getting out there about them. They're a great company. Shipping wasn't that bad. It got here, I think, after, a week after I ordered it. So I don't know if they had to make stuff new or they just slow delay, whatever. I don't care. A week's a week. That wasn't that bad. It really, really wasn't that bad. Now, what I like is you can purchase this on their website, which if I remember right, it's beardedorgan.com. Yeah, basically beardedorgan.com. You can buy it there, you know, or if you're in Oregon, go to their website. They have stores listed on there where you can go. They're not in any really huge big box retail stores, but there are certain specific stores that are listed and you can go get it there. All right. Um, the price on it wasn't that bad. It's a, I believe it's a one ounce bottle. Of course it doesn't say, but it's usually about the one ounce size and it was 15 bucks. So it's right in the range of where I feel comfortable paying and I'm not sitting here going, oh God, I hope it's not bad. I hope it's not overpowering. You know, if I spend any more than that, I'll be honest, I'm hesitant to spend any more between 20, over 20 bucks on beard oil. I just, I am. Because if it sucks, that's 20 bucks I'm out. And for those of you who know my channel, I got three kids. Wasting 20 bucks to some people who are single is no big deal. To me, that is a big deal. So, all right, guys. Not to make this one go on any longer than it has to. But um, I want to know what all you think, all right? Just let me know your questions, your comments, your hatred, whatever, man, down below. You know, I'll get back with you. And yeah, a pause for your laughter because pumpkin spice latte. Got to try something different. You never know what people are going to like, right? Now, for you cool people who have found this channel for the first time, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I mean, it's first, right? <laughs> you know, I don't know why you picked mine, but I'm thankful you did. I mean, there's millions of them out there, and I'm very honored that you chose one of mine. Now, for all you awesome people who didn't do it at the beginning of this video, here's your time for second chances. Either in that corner or that corner. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. There's going to be a big company logo popping up. I should say channel logo. Go ahead and click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. Now, after you've subscribed, go ahead and nail that bell icon. Why? Good question. It's going to notify you every single time I upload something just like this. A video. Go figure, right? <laughs> now, speaking of videos, two are going to pop up either on that side of the screen or that side of the screen. And those are going to be videos that YouTube thinks is going to be a great viewing experience for you. But that's all I got on this one, guys, for, you know, Bearded Oregon, Corvallis, Beard Oil. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have an incredible day today.